Jane collects beads. First, she gave one third of her beads to Anne, and then she gave one fourth of what was left to Beth. After giving away beads to Anne and Beth, Jane realized that she still had 150 beads left. How many beads did she have before giving away some of her beads to the two girls? We are going to solve this problem visually. So, so the question says that Jane had some beads and she gave away one third of all the beads to Anne and then one fourth of whatever was left to Beth and then she was left with 150 beads. How many beads did she have to begin with? That's our question. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a 3 by 4 set of grids. Why 3 by 4? Because 3 by 4 rectangle will allow me to express one fourth and one third pretty conven very conveniently. So I have one fourth, I'm going to look at this four, then I have one third, I'm going to look at this three. I'm going to take a three by four rectangle to represent all the beads that Jane had originally. Now once you get that, you can say that Jane gave away this much, this much, to Anne, because that's one-third. One-third, two-thirds, three-thirds, that's all of her beads, so that's one-third. So let's see what we can do here. That's what Jane got. Now, afterwards, whatever was uh, Jane was left. Jane was left with this much now. Okay, she gave away the red part. This is what she is left with. The question says you have to read the question very carefully. She gave one fourth of what was left. So whatever this was, one fourth of this went to Beth. Now. Jane did not give one-fourth of her original amount to Beth. She only gave one-fourth of what was left. So what's one-fourth of this piece? It has to be this. That's one-fourth of what was left. So I've shaded it blue. So Jane gave the red squares to Anne. We can write Anne here if we want. Actually we can write A. Let's see if we can write A here. A A Anne got that much and also got that much. Okay, and Beth got these two. Let's write Beth. Okay, and what happened? This is what Jane was left with. After she gave away some of her beads, this is what she was left with. Now, according to the question, she still had 150 beads. So these squares represent 150. I have six squares that represent 150, so each square should represent 150 divided by 6 is equal to 25. So each square represents 25. Well, let's just type it. Much easier. Okay, the question says, how many beads did she have originally? Well, she had altogether 12 squares of beads originally. 12 squares of beads. This is what she had originally. Okay, so what's my final answer if I need to find out how many how many beads she had originally? That would be 25. Each square is worth 25 beads and she had 12 squares. So we are going to multiply 25 by 12. 25 beads per square times 12. 
there were 12 squares. And we're going to get 300. So that's my final answer. She had 300 beads. Now, that's, that's one way to do it. Now, you could have used a shortcut too. So if 6 squares represent 150, and I have 6 squares here, they should also represent 150, so it'll be 150 times 2, or 150 plus 150. That would still be your 300. That's your answer. So let's write down answer. That's our answer. 300 beats.